Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask Lex Rx. I'm Dr. Lexi, a functional and clinical medicine, uh, clinical and functional medicine, there we go, pharmacist um, at River City Pharmacy. Uh, we are in Decatur, Alabama, and I had a wonderful question recently about have a functional approach to skin health or skin care. And um, I want to go back to something I think I've said before, um, but a lot of, you know, in functional medicine, we get to the root cause. And a lot of times the root cause is gut dysfunction because everything that we have seen in the literature um, at pertaining to health as well as with our own patients is that um, a lot of issues that, that make the problems worse, whatever your symptoms may be, usually starts in the gut. So that's usually the first go-to step um, of working with most of my patients. Um, hey, Miss Vicki. And uh, so that's what I would do with skin too. So I'm gonna go over a few different um, things that could make your skin and gut worse and things that could make it better. Um, but I wanted to highlight really quickly, there is a connection between your gut and your skin, just like there is a connection between your gut and your brain and your gut and your liver and the immune system and everything. So, um, now let's dive in to that juicy information. So what things that could harm your gut and thus harm your skin, sugar, Excess amounts of sugar, they're, it's everywhere in um, the standard American diet. Um, so cutting back on sugar, um, processed foods in general, our bodies were not designed to be able to extract very many nutrients from those foods. Um, we were designed to be able to process whole foods from the earth and the animals around us. So um, then, I would address um, any food sensitivities that you have. Hey, Doug. And um, so what that is, is any sensitivities will actually harm your gut cells, the lining, um, causing your gut not to function properly. So we definitely want to avoid that. So addressing any of those. Um, then in going along those same lines, any gut imbalances, so are your um, gut bugs out of whack? Do we need to figure out how to balance those? Um, are you not having enough stomach acid to be able to um, properly break down your food? That's actually way more common than you would think. Um, and the last thing that could be harming you um, are, and this is more directly to your skin and not your gut, but toxic skin products. Um, actually, fun fact, the average woman, I believe, puts on 167 chemicals before she leaves the house. Makeup, hair, yeah, it's a lot. So um, keeping those in mind, those are things we want to address and work on, but things that can be good for us Number one thing is omega-3 fatty acids. So this is the, the good fat. Really, we're focusing on a balance of fat, but we'll say good fat. Um, that you can take as a fish oil or a krill oil supplement, um, or you can eat more healthy fish. So um, salmon is one of the biggest ones, but we wanna make sure that these the, that fish that you consume are not ones that are known to be high in mercury because you can build that up as well and that wouldn't be good. So next thing is to optimize your nutrient status. So I've kind of talked about this before about um, optimizing the nutrients that your body has so it can function at its best, hence why we call it functional medicine. Um, but and not everybody's gonna need the same vitamin C, vitamin D, you know, be complex. Someone may need more of B5 than B1, or someone may need way more magnesium than someone else. So um, doing that testing or um, going to a functional medicine practitioner like me, um, can they can help you with 
really diving deep and figuring out what that is for you. Um, third thing to help with not only rebalancing your gut, um, but also um, clean, cleansing the skin, making sure the skin is balanced and everything, um, is exercise. And not just exercise, but sweating. Because, hey Danielle, our body excretes toxins through your skin. So if we don't sweat, there are certain toxins that your body does not get rid of. So keeping that in mind. Um, then sleep. This is part of how your body heals itself. Actually, it's the main thing that your body uses to heal itself. So um, sleep, making sure you're getting good sleep, enough sleep, very, very important for both your gut and your skin. And the last thing, I know this video is going a little long, but bear with me, you guys have been great. Um, active relaxation. Now this goes hand in hand with sleep, um, but this is how we can, we, we can't really change the amount of stress in our lives, but we can change how our bodies react to that stress. So active relaxation is how we can control that. So that would be um, my favorite thing to tell my patients is to spend 10 to 15 minutes a day doing something that you enjoy um, and just being in the moment. So that can be um, sitting in a bubble bath. It can be drinking your coffee, watching the sunrise or sunset, um, hunting. Uh, I've got people who love journaling. I love people, or I love, I do love people, love you guys, but I have people that, um, you know, mine is going to the gym or I, one of my patients um, makes jewelry and soap. So it, it, whatever you find joy in is what will bring you peace and allow your body to handle stress better. So that was a lot. I'm going to sum up real quick. Things that can be harming you. Sugar, processed foods, food sensitivities, gut imbalances, toxic skin products, things that can help you. Omega-3 fatty acids, optimize your nutrient status, sweat regularly, sleep, and active relaxation. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions or input or anything, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.